Dr. Bruce Love is president and field coordinator of Mayas for Ancient Mayan. At the recent Maya at the Playa conference, I sat down with Bruce to learn more about MOM and its successes and its bright future. And during that time, uh, was all the great breakthroughs were happening in Maya epigraphy. The work of Linda Sheely and Peter Matthews and others, and the exciting, fascinating work that was being done. And I started attending the meetings in Austin, Texas, the Maya meetings uh, Linda Sheely was running. And Linda Sheely uh, initiated this concept of bringing hieroglyphic workshops back to the Maya people, where the, they originally originated. Now, Linda was not alone in this. We have to give credit to others like uh, Nick Hopkins and Catherine Josseran and Federico Fassen from Guatemala and others, uh, Nora England, a linguist. But Linda was, as many of you know, like this energetic dynamo of energy that um, had the charisma, charisma and the leadership to make this happen. So in the 1980s, she started bringing hieroglyphic workshops to the Mayas themselves. Then, when Linda passed away, that fell by the wayside. And so some of us who were attending the meetings in Austin, we tried to pick up the slack by forming an organization called Friends of the Maya Meetings. And we started bringing Mayas from Guatemala and Yucatan and other places to the meetings in Austin. And we did this for a few years, up till 2010. The, the, uh, the Maya meetings from Texas moved to Antigua, and they had their first meeting in Antigua. And we sponsored a whole bunch of Mayas in to attend those meetings. But what happened was, the weekend after those meetings, the Mayas got together and they held their own set of workshops in Antigua at the Proyecto Linguístico Francisco Marroquín, PLFM. So PL, PLFM sponsored uh, more than 70 Mayas came from all over Guatemala. They traveled by bus overnight, you know, without sleep. There was just to come and learn how to read the hieroglyphs of their own ancestors. And when we, as outsiders, saw this, we, it was a watershed event in our existence. We changed our whole model. Our model that used to be bringing Mayas to the meetings, to the workshops, now, aha, let's bring the workshops to the Mayas in their own countries, in their own communities. And so at that point, we reinvented ourselves, we renamed ourselves, and we became MAM, the Mayas for Ancient Mayan, or in Spanish, Maya Antiguo para los Mayas. So now what we're doing is we're raising money to give the Maya epigraphers their own opportunities to do their own workshops in their own communities, and we're here to help them. In 2012, we had the first International Congress of Maya Epigraphers in Valladolid, Yucatan, and we had something like 70 Mayas come from Guatemala and Belize and various states of southern Mexico. They all converged on Valladolid for a week of workshops, but the workshops were taught by outsiders, by North Americans, Canadians, Mexicans, in 2014, and many of you know about this, and you all, and many of you have contributed to this. We had a, an Indiegogo fundraiser, uh, which raised money. We had the second International Congress of Maya Epigraphers in Ocosingo, Chiapas, and this was another step forward as far as the Mayas taking control of their own epi epigraphy, their own hieroglyphic decipherment and calendar the Mayas taught the workshops in 2014. And we had more than 100 Mayas attend from four countries representing 19 different Maya languages. It was an incredible event, and it was a spiritual event. Uh, the Mayas themselves, they do ceremony, they feel they're connecting with their ancestors, they're serious, they're, it's, just, it's just a really a wonderful, wonderful, thing to observe. 
And we, as outsiders, we took the back seat and let them run the show. It was absolutely marvelous. And now, in 2016, we're planning the next step still, which is the Mayas themselves will organize the third International Congress of Maya Epigraphers to take place in somewhere in Guatemala. They haven't uh, named the site yet, but the, uh, the PLFM has been put in charge, and they're going to run this with the help of other Maya epigraphers from the various countries. We're still going to help financially, but at the same time, they're going to be lear learning and, and beginning to do their own fundraising as well as their own organizing. And at the end of the Congress in 2016, our organization, MOM, is going to disband. We're going to dissolve into a memory, a beautiful memory of energy and spirit that we all, you know, were involved in this great movement of the Mayas taking over their own uh, language, their own history, and becoming the, the, and setting the course of Maya epigraphy in the future. And mom, Maya, strange Maya, will step out of the picture and turn everything over to the Mayas. And that's our trajectory, that's what we're on, and that's what we're gonna do.